everyone, and welcome back to this week's episode of On the Couch. I'm Renee Waters. And I'm Joelle Vasquez. Today we are joined by Katie Driscoll, co-president of the Rowan Food Recovery Network. Katie, thank you so much for joining us today. We're so excited to have you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. So uh, before we begin, uh, can you explain uh, what the Food Recovery Network is and what you guys do? Yeah, so Food Recovery Network is a national nonprofit, and um, we have a chapter here on Rowan's campus, and we're basically responsible for um, taking food waste from the college campus. So there's food that is thrown away every day that is still edible, um, and that happens ev everywhere across the country and across the world. Um, so we take some of that waste and we redistribute it to uh, community partners around Glassboro. Oh, well, that's awesome. That's okay. great that you guys are giving back. Yes, so what made you want to be a part of the Food Network? Yeah, so um, in high school I did a little bit with um, food insecurity and looking at some of like the global issues that affect like the food chain. Um, and I, was, I knew I was really interested in that and Food Recovery was really the only organization at Rowan like operating in that capacity. Mm -hmm. um, so I joined my freshman year and uh, that's been kind of what I do ever since. Wow, well that's amazing. And so what's the process uh, um, of getting the extra food that's left on campus to the people that need it? Yeah, so there's a lot of logistics involved. Um, so we manage um, both like the food waste aspect, the volunteer aspect, and the transportation aspect. Um, and we kind of have to have all of those things going at once. Um, so right now, because of COVID, our volunteer capacity is really limited. Mm -hmm. um, and Gourmet Dining has been really, really helpful um, in packing up the food that they donate to us um, so that there's like less contact for the food. Um, and members of our e-board um, transport that food to the shelters twice a week. Okay, that is amazing. So what is the most you have accomplished being a part of the food bank? Um, I think the biggest accomplishment actually happened like this semester. Um, we broke our like recovery record. So we, we've recovered over 2,000 pounds of food um, this semester. And that's the most we've ever recovered in a single semester, which is really great. Um, because there's a lot of need right now um, because of COVID and people's economic situations um, are a little bit more tenuous than usual. Um, so it's been it's been really nice to be able to give back to the community when that need is higher. Wow, two thousand pounds. That's two thousand pounds. That's amazing. Um, so how can students who are not involved in any clubs get involved with the Food Network? Yeah. So um, we have a, we have a social media presence. So the easiest way is probably just to DM our Instagram page. Um, we also have an email. I believe it's foodrecovery.rowan at gmail.com, um, and you can shoot us an email there, and we'll get you um, signed up as a volunteer. Like I said, our volunteer capacity this semester is a little bit limited because we do go to like high risk um, group settings, um, and we're trying to limit the contact that we have with our community partners to keep them safe um, and to keep ourselves safe. But uh, we would love for you to get involved. We're trying to figure out some more creative ways um, that people can be involved with us. Um, and definitely stay tuned for future semesters because there's there's a lot of uh, need for volunteers, especially if you're an underclassman or if you have a car on mm -hmm. campus that you'd be willing to drive to the shelters. Yeah. All right. Well, everybody has a reason why they want to join a club. So why do you love being a part of this club? I don't know. It's always just been the best part of my week, um, getting to drop the food off and seeing um, how grateful the people are to receive it. And knowing that that food would have otherwise just been in a landfill um, is just super meaningful to me. Wow. Uh, well, Katie, your work is just amazing. And so after the break, we are going to play a Thanksgiving trivia game. So I hope you know your knowledge, Katie. <laughs> don't go anywhere. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry. I don't think it looks right. This is good, I, and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. Routines like staying active or talking to friends can help keep you centered. For more tips, visit coping-19.org. Jason, let's go see your room. What do you think? We kept it a little spare so you can decorate it how you like. 
Dinner. Excellent. Yeah, I saw you guys out there. Where are the family? Where are the family? Where are the family? Yeah! Oh, I thought you were on my team. Wait, I We are still joined here today with Katie, and of course, we have a treat for you. Since it is Thanksgiving, we have a Thanksgiving trivia for you. You will be asked a few questions, and you will answer to the best of your ability. Are you ready, Katie? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Under which president did Thanksgiving become an annual holiday? George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Benjamin Franklin, or John Adams? I have no idea. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Do you want to was judge Benjamin it? Franklin even a president? Was he? Mm. Mm. I don't, wait, I don't think so. No, he was not. He was not. Lesnar was a dog. Um, I'm going to say Abraham Lincoln was busy, so maybe John Adams? No, it was Abraham it was Lincoln. Abe. Abe. <laughs> Besides being called Honest Abe, they called him Turkey Abe. Yes. I'm just kidding. I made that up. I made that up. That's not true. <laughs> All right, our next question. How many turkeys do Americans prepare every year? Is it 21 million, 34 million, 46 million, or 52 million? Um, I don't even know that. <laughs> is it 46 million? Ding, 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 you got it right! Yes, Americans prepare 46 million turkeys every year. That's a lot of turkeys. Yes. I feel so bad. Since we are in the spirit, and hopefully you know what a turkey is. So what is the wobbly red piece of flesh that hangs from a turkey? One, a chin. Two, a nose. Three, his neck. Or four, a snood. Um, I think I'm going to have to say snood just because um, the other ones are too normal. <laughs> I like the I other would, ones. I, I, I have to agree. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's snood. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think I've ever heard of a turkey having a chin. <laughs> really? I thought turkeys had chins. That, means, that thought just makes me a little uncomfy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our question four. Um, who was the first president to pardon a turkey? Bill Clinton, JFK, also known as John F. Kennedy, uh, Theodore Roosevelt, or George H.W. Bush? Um, I feel like Teddy Roosevelt had a good sense of humor, so I'm going to go with him. Uh, no. <laughs> no, it was actually John F. Kennedy who started the tradition, and wow. George H.W. Bush was the one who actually kept it going. So okay. Theodore Roosevelt had nothing to do with it. I made that up. <laughs> All right, Katie, you are doing well so far. So how many calories on an average does each person consume at Thanksgiving dinner? Oh, man, that's crazy. Uh, so I think... Is it 2,500, 3,000, 4,000, or 4,500? I know, I know like your daily caloric intake is supposed to be like 2,000 on average. Katie, are so you getting science-y on us? I she am. is getting science-y on us. <laughs> so oh I my gosh. Like, I feel like some of those are like way too high. Um, maybe like 2,500. And it's actually 4,500. That's, that's, that's actually dangerous. Isn't that dangerous, Katie? That sounds a little dangerous. <laughs> I, I don't know, that kind of sounds like a regular day to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so our next question. Sarah Josephina Hale, writer of this popular American classic, uh, was, one, was the one who convinced uh, Abraham Lincoln to declare Thanksgiving as a national holiday. What song did she write? Is it The Star Spangled Banner, Mary Had a Little Lamb, <laughs> Row, Row, Row Your Boat, or The Wheels on the Bus? Um... Maybe Mary Had a Little Lamb. You got it, yes. Uh, she wrote Mary, uh, wait, Mary Had a Little Lamb. I was like, Mary, you had a little lamb. That's yeah. not it. Um, yeah, she wrote that, so nice job. Okay. <laughs> what meat did the Native Americans bring to the first Thanksgiving? One, deer. Two, turkey. Three, rabbit. Or four, deer. 
Oh man, um, I feel like turkey is too easy. Um, maybe deer, some venison. Yes, yeah. it was deer. Yes, the, <laughs> she's doing well. I, I really, I really enjoy your your um your your process of getting through all these yeah, answers. Yeah. It's very, it's very scientific. Very scientific. That's what midterms will do to you. Darling. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us, Katie, and don't go anywhere because after the break, we're gonna be talking about Dolly Parton and her big donation. Megan Thee Stallion drops a collab with Fashion Nova. And the 2020 Latin Grammys. Yes. Don't go anywhere. Well, I was homeschooled in high school, and I, it was really difficult for me to meet people, and I went to high school just for one year into public school. I remember just <laughs> walking in. It was first or second day of school, and I'm not kidding. I had a PB&J sandwich, and I go to the bathroom to eat because I was I didn't want to be seen. I just I felt like people were laughing at me. I was the new girl, and who wants to be friends with the new girl? <laughs> I had to like do my own thing. I started writing songs. I, I just got in my own little cocoon. I come from an Albanian family where we share all of our emotions and it's taught me to really be helpful and reach out to someone if they're not like that. To say, hey, I know you're feeling bad about this certain thing, but don't put yourself down. Like, you can't just focus on that one moment. And um, I would tell my friends that and my cousins when I saw they were down and they didn't feel good and didn't want to talk about their emotions because I think it's super important to talk with somebody and seek help when you're not feeling mentally there because we've all been there and it's normal. I think it's important to know that we all have challenges in our life. We all have problems in our life. We all go through ups and downs every single day. It's not out of the ordinary. We all feel down sometimes. I mean, I had a friend she, you know, got her heart broken and and she was just like hurting herself mentally and not leaving her room and she just felt so down after this breakup and it just, it wasn't healthy so I um, went inside her room, turned on the lights and was like, we're going shopping. I think it's important to help people when you see um, they're down. It doesn't have to be shopping. It could be going to watch a movie with your friend or taking your friend out to dinner or taking your friend for like a walk just to talk you can really help a lot of people just by knocking on their door and seeing how they are a text like hey how are you doing um let like make it about them like reach out i know i keep saying this but it's so important if you think your friend is struggling with mental health reach out and start a conversation for more tips visit seizetheawkward.org I don't remember how it started. Go to that. Oh boy. We just found it. Oh. Our back and forth. Okay. Victory. Fumble. Repeat. It always came back. <laughs> Dad! You made time. That was perfect. Okay, here we go, throw it! <laughs> yeah! You probably don't remember what you told me. Nice. But I heard every word. Hello and 
welcome back to On The Couch. Today we're gonna be talking about what's hot and what's not in pop culture. Renee, listen, I know you're not too much of a country music girl, but I know you have to know who Dolly Parton is. No, oh, well, no, what am I talking about? I know Dolly Parton off of Hannah Montana. So, yeah, I mean, I honestly, how can you not? This this woman is an icon. <laughs> She's got an amazing voice. She has countless hits. And most importantly, she played Miley Stewart's grandma in Hannah Montana. I actually <laughs> know her. I know her. From Hannah Montana, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, the Little Miss 9 to 5 singer just donated $1 million to the Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville. That is one of the trial sites for the Moderna vaccine, which is nearly 95% effective, according to early data. Mm -hmm. The singer has a friendship with a doctor involved with the development of the, of the vaccine after he took care of her after a car accident in 2013. Oh, my God. Parton said, quote, I'm a very proud girl today to know I have anything to do at all with something that can get us through this crazy pandemic, end quote. Wow. Listen, if you, like, I don't see any reason why anyone wouldn't yeah. like Dolly Parton, but now Dolly Parton has given us a reason why we should love her. Yes. Like, honestly, she's amazing. Honestly, what is she doing today? Is she, she like... well, she's donating big bucks to, <laughs> to COVID. <laughs> so and I, mean, I think she just released a new album, but I don't know, don't quote me on that, okay? But okay. I think she's still working on music. She's, she's, still, just, doing she's still doing her thing, you know? Okay. She's still rich. <laughs> okay, Joelle, I know you are ready for this sick new news. I am <laughs> So not only has Megan Thee Stallion faced tremendous obstacles recently with Tory Lanez, the Savage rapper has voiced her concern in regards to brands not catering to her tall woman. Hinting off to fans about her new collection, she has officially dropped her new collab with Fashion Nova. Ooh. And the collection is a 106 piece capsule featuring a line of premium dem denim, luxe corset bodysuits, and tops and matching pants, eye catching dresses, and plush outwear. The collab collection will feature a capsule of denim selects for women's 5 foot 9 and taller. And guess what, Joelle? What? <laughs> On top of that, she is dropping her new album, Good News. Ooh. I mean, after all that she's been through, I mean, honestly, I would. I know she went. She went through that stabbing, right? She went through the not the, the shooting. The shooting. The she shooting. Went through the okay. Shooting. Yes. Yeah. You know, people were bashing her down. The yeah. album. The yeah. whole she, controversy. It's. I know she, that she has a signature sound, like like how Cardi B has. Mm -hmm. Meow. Yes. Like she has. Like she has ah, right? Yeah. So like it's, looks it's like. Ah. Ah. <laughs> So wait, wait how tall is Megan Thee Stallion? I think, what is she, like six foot two? I think so. Wait, she what? Like, no <laughs> way! No, no way! <laughs> no, she's probably like five foot ten. Or five doesn't foot, make difference. <laughs> five foot ten? I don't she's know. Two. She's Get out of here. She, she's really the stallion, okay? I oh think my God. that's where she got the, like, Megan Thee Stallion thing from. Like, really? the stallion in her country side or whatever is considered tall woman. They call them the stallion. Really? I just yes. thought she was a horse girl. <laughs> I, I had no idea. Well, but, well, you learn something new every day. Yes. <laughs> well, Renee, last night was the Latin Grammy Awards, yes. which only means one thing. The fashion police are here, baby. Boom, boom. Well, uh, Renee, I'm so excited to check this out. Yes, me too. Let's take a look at the hottest looks. All right. So first up, we have Prince Royce, who, honestly, I love this fit. Yes. He looks really good. I think he kind of looks like um like a sexy G.I. Joe sort, you know, yeah. like like G.I. Joe, but make yes. him bougie, I guess. Like, I really, really like it. I mean, I like it. It's cute. Um, you don't like it. You do. I mean, it gives me, I feel like he should have put a shirt under it. But, you know, I'm, I'm thinking the satin and the, and the crystals and the, what is it, sequins? Or, I don't know. I don't know. It looks it's like shiny. satin, to it's be shiny. honest. Right. Um, Next up, we have uh, Camilo Echeverri. Echeverri. Can you roll your R's and I? Camila Echeverri. Echeverri, yeah. You gotta teach me how to say something in Spanish, Joel. All right, so Real quick. Since, since we're looking at uh, people's outfits, we're gonna say okay. me gusta or no me gusta. Okay. Okay. Right. Me gusta and no me gusta. Uh, <laughs> you nailed it. You killed it. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, uh, looking at that outfit, I don't really know how um, I feel about it. Like, I think it kind of looks like a Harry Styles, but you know, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. The, it, I mean, it was giving kind of Harry Styles a little bit. 
You are you are not crazy about these fits like no. I am. Wow. Okay. I, well, all right, you going? Yep. Next we have <laughs> Leslie Grace and Debbie Nova. Okay, so Debbie, wait, what is it? Grace Debbie. Uh, she's in the purple, mm -hmm. and I like it. Like mm -hmm. it's it's classic. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like um. I don't know the wind is hitting her just right. Like yeah. she's she knows what she's doing. With I like hair. it. It gives it, it gives Jennifer Lopez. I like it. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. Okay. All right, and then next up we have um, Leslie Grace. Mm -hmm. So I I like her fit. It's just giving me like birthday about to go to the club look. I don't really do, do you wear that to the club? Much. No, I would not wear that to the club. <laughs> I think like that's something I might I, wear. Stop. I might wear. I might wear to the club. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, because we were fucking up. Oh my god, we were freaking up so bad. Yeah. Like, I, I called it the wrong name. We were fucking up. I think you guys messed up the names a little bit. Yeah, we messed yeah, up I, everything. I'm so sorry. I messed up we messed everything. Up everything. We were like, because it's like, it's because it, like, it kind of cuts off. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to go to the names. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, yeah. Everyone. Okay. Because I'm like, what the hell? I was like, who is this? You're like, I think she's in the pro. Oh. <laughs> and then Joel was like, all right, you're going to go over <laughs> Yeah, I just don't have anything to say about these people. Yeah, we like, just fucking up real bad. I know. <laughs> Today's hot topics, not it. <laughs> <laughs> Our phones are about to blow up. <laughs> They're I still know. recording. Yeah. My phone's recording, been recording for like an hour. Yeah, mine too. I'm surprised I got that mistake. I can't wait to look back and see all of my mess up. <laughs> right. Okay, I thought it was Nova Raquel and that, yeah, because I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I was like, what are we looking at? Yeah. I knew Prince Royce and All right. Camilo Echeverri. Okay. Now we're doing cool. Perfect. separated. Um, we're going to start from the beginning of the Hot Topic section. Okay. okay. All right, that's actually perfect. That's fine. Because I messed yeah. up. Yeah, like that. <laughs> We were cleaning it up real good, though. I can use that. I was like, because I called that's the not. first lady. I wasn't really paying attention to this, but just in case. Um, don't swivel. Oh, yes. I, I don't know if you were. I, was in, I, was I think I, I, think I caught to myself I like this. I didn't notice much. I think I caught myself doing this. I'm like, just making sure. Like, uh, uh. But you guys said you want yourselves up there? Yeah, I want to see myself. Yes. <laughs> but alright, so what can I'm, I'm just a look, because the light, I can't really see it yeah, glowing. I don't know which do. camera. I got these from Aldo's, these shoes. I'm oh, that make it a little bit better? Yeah, it's actually perfect. Oh, that does make it look different. Yeah, because I'm like, uh -huh. I don't know which one's lighting up. All right. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, oh, sure. Sure. Yeah. All, all right, right. take Thank two. I've never done two two before. Wow. <laughs> wow. Look at my fat ass. I'm going to stop eating, yo. For real. This is getting ridiculous. No, you look fine. look like... Hello and welcome back to On The Couch. Today we're going to be talking about what's hot and what's not in pop culture. Renee, listen, I know that you're not too much of a country music girl, <laughs> but I know you have to know who Dolly Parton is. Um, yes, Joa, I actually know exactly who you're talking about this time. I actually know her from Hannah Montana. Yes, I mean, exactly. How do you <laughs> not know this iconic woman? She's got an amazing voice, has countless hits, and most importantly, she's played Miley, Cyrus, or Miley Stewart's grandma in Hannah Montana. Yes, yes, I'm so excited to hear more about her. Yeah, well, the Little Miss 9 to 5 singer just donated $1 million to the Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville. That is one of the trial sites for the Moderna vaccine, which is nearly 95% effective, according to early data. The singer has a friendship with a doctor involved with the development of the vaccine after he took care of her after a car accident in 2013. Wow. You know, and she says, quote, I'm very proud girl today to know that I have anything at all to do with to help us get through this crazy pandemic, end quote. 
Renee, I just absolutely adore this woman. I don't feel, I don't see how anyone could possibly have anything <laughs> to say about her. I actually want to know what is she doing now? Like afterwards, like what is she doing? Well, I mean, obviously she's she's donating her big buck to, <laughs> to a great cause, but also, I mean, she's still a great, like she's still performing. Yes. I mean, I just feel like she's America's grandma. Yeah, you know? she I is, love her. She is. She is. <laughs> Well, Joelle, I know you are ready for this sick new news. I am ready. <laughs> so not only has Megan the Stallion faced tremendous obstacles recently with Tory Lanez, the savage rapper has voiced her concern in regards to brands not catering to tall women. Mm -mm. Hinting off to fans about her new collection, she has officially dropped her new collab with Fashion Nova. Ooh. And the collection is a 106-piece capsule. It's featuring a line of premium denim, Lux corsets, bodysuits, and topped with matching pants, eye-catching dresses, and plush outwear. The collection will feature a capsule of denim selects for women five foot nine and taller. And guess what? What? On top of that, <laughs> she is dropping her new <laughs> album, Good News. Ooh, I am yes, just, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm beyond excited. I mean, I feel like she has faced so many trials lately mm -hmm. with the whole shooting going yeah. on. She she has proved she's a exactly. survivor. Fans <laughs> coming at her crazy. The album. I feel like she's just yeah. she's conquered. A yeah, lot. and like I like she has like a sound effect. Right? Like Cardi B has, <laughs> has a meow, yeah. and now like Megan Thee Stallion has. Eh. I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm, always, I'm like in the grocery store. I'm like, yeah. Like it's great. It's great. They're scaring it. people. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I'll just try. Kind of true. Yes. <laughs> well, Renee, last night was the Latin Grammys, which only means one thing. The fashion police are here. Yes, Woo. they're here. <laughs> so yes, Joelle, let's check out last night's hottest looks. All right, so first up, we have Prince Royce. Yes. Renee, I like this. I yes. think he looks kind of sleek. I kind of get like, you know, like sexy G.I. Joe vibes. <laughs> like, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I mean, I think it's satin, but I think he should have, he should have probably put a shirt under it. Mm, I mean, he's I giving bird I don't think a lot of people were complaining. <laughs> <laughs> I like the glasses and the jerry coat, yeah. though. It's cute. All right, so next up we have Camilo Echeverri. Renee, can you say that, Echeverri? Camilo Echeverri. <laughs> one more time, just try it. Camilo Echeverri. <laughs> What? Uh, was, that, was that you trying to roll your eyes? Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Renee, what the heck? Now you gotta teach me something in Spanish. Uh, okay, well, while we're looking at these looks, I'm, we're gonna say me gusta or no me gusta. We're gonna keep it simple, you okay. know, Spanish 101. All right, ready? Me gusta and no me gusta. Uh, honestly, <laughs> you're killing it, Renee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. So next up, we have a Leslie Grace Ooh. and Debbie Nova. Now, Leslie Grace is wearing a purple dress. And honestly, I feel like it's a, just a classic look. Yes. I think that the wind is hitting her just like just yeah, right. It, it was perfect. And like, she's like, yeah, like I own this I camera. Mean, like, it's kind of giving current. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's amazing. She's, she's giving Jennifer Lopez. I like the strappy shoes. And yeah. her skin is just right. Yeah. It's giving an uh, album cover a little bit. An album cover? Yeah, yeah it's like, a, a nice album it. cover. Now, Debbie Nova next to her. I don't know. I feel like like she's giving me like that crazy aunt that you're going to see yeah, on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Like, I'm here. No. What's up? With the extra sleeves yeah. and stuff. It's giving, you know, birthday outfit. Yeah. I'm not feeling it. I don't know. I, and it's like loofahs on the side, yeah. too. Like, I don't the know. The sequins and then the seeds. It's, 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 it's not that. All right, so next up we have Alex Cuba and Raquel Sofia. Mm -hmm. So Alex Cuba, you know, I kind of feel like everyone is, you know, dressed up very, like, nicely for this. And then he, he, we always have, like, that one friend yeah. who just never dresses up. Like, <laughs> he probably just wears this to, like, like school. Yeah, know? it's just giving, <laughs> you school, know, but. my uncle's here. Yeah, like, yeah, like, he's, like, he's, like, the fun uncle. Yeah. Like, you know, you're, he's your favorite he's uncle. And then for Raquel Sophia, I'm getting Marilyn Monroe vibes. I feel like yeah. she she hasn't, like, let go that it's not Halloween anymore. Yeah. And she's like, I am Marilyn Monroe still. <laughs> like, don't tell I me I mean, the white doesn't really compliment her. The white makes her look very pale. I probably would have did yellow and yellow. definitely switched up the shoes. With, wait, the what are the shoes? Oh, yikes! <laughs> Yikes! What are those? those are Raquel! Like Rocky baby! What are, what are we doing? 
Uh-uh. I don't I don't like those. Mm. Yeah. All right. So that's all we have for you today. <laughs> and I'm Renee Waters. And I'm Joel Vasquez. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. And we'll see you after Thanksgiving break on the couch.